Song Chan Funcheng Industrial Investment, a Chinese private company, recently obtained a court ruling to confiscate Nigeria's presidential jets due to a failed multi million dollar contract with the Ogun State Government. Senior reporter Kazim Olowe visited the free trade zone at Igbesa and brought back this report. Security met at the entrance denied us entry into the free trade zone. They claimed that there must be written permission from the Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority. And for days, the news of confiscation of three Nigerian owned aircraft due to a failed multi million dollar contract between the Ogun State Government and a Chinese firm has been generating reactions across the country. The federal government and Ogun State government in their separate reactions have described the company as imposter and assured Nigerians that they would ensure that the country's assets and interests are well protected. A statement signed by the special advisor to the president on information and strategy, Bayo Onunuga, confirmed that the presidency is aware of the various failed attempts by a Chinese company, Zongchan Fucheng Industrial Investment Company Limited, to take over offshore assets of the federal government of Nigeria. He said the federal government is not under any contractual obligation with the company. The Ogun State government also faulted the judicial process that led to the provisional attachment of three Nigerian government-owned aircraft in France by the Judicial Court of Paris on 7th March and 2nd August 2024. In a statement signed by the Special Advisor to the Ogun State Governor on Media and Strategy, Kayode Akimadi, the state described the latest development as new antics by the Chinese company to appropriate Nigerian assets in foreign jurisdictions Worried by the ugly trend, Nigerians called out the two former governors of Ogun State, being Daniel and Ibikuli Amosun, to state their roles in the issue. In a statement, Ibikuli Amosun was the governor between 2011 and 2019, called on the Nigerian government not to give Song Fu International Investment any listening ear, as doing so would amount to indulging and encouraging an unlawful entity without local standing to appropriate Nigerians' common patrimony. He said shortly after his administration came on board in 2019, two different Chinese companies, China Africa Investment and Zongfu International Investment, laid claim to management rights over the Ogun Guangdong Free Trade Zone. The former governor said it was later discovered that the information and claims volunteered by Zongfu International Investment against China Africa Investment were not genuine, as the government of the People's Republic of China, via its diplomatic note 1601, dated 11 March 2016, clarified to Ogun State Government that China Africa Investment was the rightful investor. On his part, former Governor Gwinga Daniel, whose administration witnessed the signing of the agreement, said he would prefer not to go into media engagements on the matter. He said he would prefer diplomatic approach in helping Nigeria to find solution to the issue, working with available records that could help the federal government in pursuing the matter at the arbitration and before the courts. The Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority listed the Ogun Guangdong Free Trade Zone as one of the zones in the country and our visit to the place confirms that the primary focus of the free zone is on manufacturing and processing industries. Most of those working for companies in the free trade zone refuse to speak on camera but they claim that a Chinese company and the Nigerian government are in charge while those who spoke on camera say more than 40 companies are operating in full while others are at various stages of completion. What we are producing there, we are produ uh, producing tiles. So, uh, on the tiles, each and every day, uh, we are having more uh, customers from various places. We have 40 companies inside. So many people from many places are coming to work from here. According to the information obtained on the website of the Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority, there are more than 40 free zones in the country with more than 500 free enterprises. With the current situation of things, Nigerians are expecting successive administrations in Ogun State to work together with the federal government in ensuring that the seized aircraft are returned to the country and of course the interest of Nigeria in Ogun Guangdong Free Trade Zone is protected. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Igbesa.